of the sites is narrow, so if you try How to do they hold you're gonna a be main. It. But you also have the Cypher there as well, so especially on defense, you can really just anchor one site with the Cypher on Benkai, and then try to get crafty, see if you can draw out some util from that Yoru. I mean, the thing I'll always say with Yoru is, it, it requires really good coordination uh, at the pro level to pull it off. I, I've seen glimpses of it from Paper X. I haven't seen enough. In fact, I thought Ethan, with the way that EG did this at Lockin, I thought they piloted the Yoru the best I've ever seen. I want to see improvements here for Paper X. I know Just push it. Is a god -tier I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I, need to see it now. I guess they probably have some TPs with it. I guess they just got to fight it. They can own and flash it if worst case. The biggest difference here is that there's no breach for Paper Rex on a map like Haven, where we've seen breach almost every time it's been picked throughout all the different betas so man you lose so really you lose so much using a using a yoru instead of a breach you lose so much Boys but i'm down to see what they got serious right now i think this is going to be a high pressure game for both sides with all everyone from back home watching them so all there's left to do is to get into the game and hear from our casters they are all, all dressed up smartly for today for this special a occasion for this one. quack and achilleos tell us how many knife kills are we gonna see today oh that's a that's a tough one to gauge i think as far as the knife kills are concerned i'm hoping for many uh, but okay. yeah, I'm, always I'm gonna put this up for two minutes so hopefully it's, it's all right time it's all about what's up in here no, that's true. No, this is this has just been rotting. <laughs> no, been 30 years of brain dude. rot. But uh, yeah, ready to dive into this one. This has been an exciting one, and also a very polarizing matchup as far as who people expect to be able to take this. Obviously, fairly long-standing rivalry. These guys have played back and forth against each other since you know before Team Secret came into the fold. Where then Brand Esports with that roster. Uh, but we've seen that back and forth, and widely it has been Paper Rex getting yes. the upper hand. So historically, you certainly want to favor them, but. We kind of have to look at some of the recent results. Fair enough. Right now, Team Secret still look very fired up. Paper X, still some things to work on. But at the same time, I can anticipate quite that if there's going to be a match that Paper X really over prepares for, it's probably this one. Definitely has to be because this is something that they've played so many times before, at least in the previous years of Valorant. But coming now into this, we know that Paper X has some tricks up their sleeves. Of course, with the Euro pick already. Yeah. Um, all right it's going to be a little bit of that what sense is of mistakes once again. what is the plan you know, here those maps that we've seen what on earth is the plan here okay they saw an attack so champions. this should we should be a little bit easier paper x getting a little um, bit too frag heavy a little bit too aggressive for positions that they keep playing they just get picked off so i'm interested to see how Chuck, i'm gonna put this here uh, and let me know if it needs to be changed they, he's gonna control them and fix their, okay so uh, secret on defense paper x on attack yoru attack right, so far, double duelist it should be Warburg's mental effect on the squad it's been looking very good Let's see if that's going to continue to be the case dark going to get a very nice ping four players going to be revealed outside of a lobby okay it's already hefty info here in the pistol round for jesse fashion you can also right. see dubstep Getting himself into a forward position, tucked away over so yeah, just planning right over towards A on secret. Still, okay. To uh, to punish that one. The a bit of in terms of contact breach stun. This is the real deal. Shots coming across. They're trying to spray him out. Dubstep here, looking in this position. Oh. Gonna be good for two. That'll do. So just chunking him down. Look at their HP. No way he gets one on one. Clipping him in the head, forsaken here on the site. There's gonna be banged he hits the box. two on one. Orkham takes him down somehow, still alive, and he is gonna survive through alive. the whole round. Only dubstep going down at the end of it all. His team secret will go ahead. I mean, really nice. The fact he gets two on one's crazy. And dubstep did insane. Just body shotting too. I actually kind of uh, like the setup. It was a turret in the open that they could both play off. off I'm pretty sure. Where I think this I've said it now. I'm less confident. Yeah, yeah, it was. Did so much effectively nullified the alternate approach, leaving only Garage to be left about to worry about, and that's where things really start to fall apart for Paper X. Yeah, this was nice. Okay, didn't see anything from. <laughs> I didn't see anything from the Yoru. Seeming like they're remaining serious and not going to get overzealous quite just Still early. It's a little shock over towards B. Yes, it is. Breaks the Lambot. Breaks Molly. They go straight in. Ever so common, dumps up again, oh getting God. tucked away, jump out of the smoke, look and then just get Look at this handle at the moment. This I... is nice. <laughs> Seth, this is a rough start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Team Secret had a read on them, <laughs> though. This is, this is a terrible start, I don't know how often Paper X like to go <laughs> B with this one, but two people close like this? Past, uh, past That's a, that was like a straight that. up read. Oh, 
is a common thing that people like to do, going over towards B on the Ecos. But, uh, well, here for yeah, the I think there was the one at the beginning, and then the shock came in, the board. and then there was more. Yeah, because the breach we'll rotates, because breach was ready. In a moment, but yeah, I mean, dubstep coming up huge already. Definitely feels like a bit of work went into, uh, into this, at least from that one that I'm looking at. But who knows? Especially playing with an alarm bot, maybe. Okay, right. Now, convince me. Let me see. What do we got? Kind of deliver a bit more. Let me see. Obviously, it's going to be Jesse Bastier with oh. the Marshall in hand. As drone does get a reveal. They managed to find two. Jeremy goes to the aggressive push. Still, though, manages <laughs> to find one. That's going to be a rifle on the floor. Secret go crazy aggro with the 4 1. Instant reaction, though, once they realize. And this might work out well. We'll keep an eye on the server. There's going to get fast timing over towards Garage or potentially behind. Dubstep did great to get one, like on his own. Nice Sermon flash. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jinx the hero. Push out of the smoke through garage. Ends up getting taken down. Swing around the back of sight. Fork up, unable to line it up. Two weapons dropped. Not terrible here for the Good reaction from Paper X. I think Team Secret did really well in this round. Like this, if Jing has different positioning, that's a that's a one round. I think what they wanted to do on the first round, uh, hovering around a lobby, and that's where I think that push came into hand from Team Secret. But of course, wow, he turned that, he turned that second that. flash time, as well. A little bit more careful about their approach towards C. All right, but here, here's the thing: we're going out into round four. Dubstep has his lockdown. Yeah, he turned that second flash. What the? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so you see the actually the first first person I ever saw to do this was Death, like really early on in the game. The kind of attack cage like this. I do like it. So in terms of this one, um, have they got so much money? In theory, it's a swing round chat. Like, it, it is a swing round chat. We don't see this team light, uh, by light armor, so. So this is a pretty huge run to try and work out what's going on. Cypher's doing great. Cypher at the moment, though, so they've changed the alarm bot over towards B so it doesn't get killed by the shock, and then they instantly go here with the Cypher, and we now have a Lurk Cage on top of it that, honestly, I don't think any of these would have heard on man. Cage goes up, he walks in, perfect timing over towards B. Killjoy would have just seen the cage, so now they have to be scared of it. Yeah, Killjoy saw the cage, so knew it could happen. Nice idea, though. Should be prepared, and now they spot him. Do or die. Need to need to defend this. Push coming in. They get one. Dubstep Damn. will get the Nicely other. Nicely handle from Team Secret. Dubstep We're done from Dubstep to get the most important kill. See the cage that has gone over to the alarm bot and then call that out. That was pretty cool. That's, a, that's also a very cool idea for Paper X, knowing that this would happen. Shocking the alarm bot early on, then trying to get close to luck and towards B. He went very early. I thought he was going to be a late luck. He went very, very early. Steak and egg. What's up, dude? It was good, but just... Once again, that lockdown changed everything. Steak and egg. Five. With the prime. Welcome into the circle. Thank down, you, mate. Three months. Appreciate you. Right, so that was a huge round for Team Secret. Now they get a chance to stack their econ really high, as we can see. Sheriff Mania. Maybe not going to see what we saw in the Fury game yesterday, where just everyone doesn't miss a shot with a sheriff. Okay, very nicely done though. Four people. Uh, I'm going to circle this. I'm hoping he doesn't rebuy armor. Um, yeah, it's a nice start. They got good money. Paper X have to time out already. This is uh, looking a little bit rough for them. Uh, sometimes things aren't working Fever out, so Val, thank you so much. You Fever Val with the gifted. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, you can't out -aim every, yourself out of every Whoa. single situation. Whoa. Uh, especially when it comes down to <laughs> the lockdown from previous Whoa, round. Whoa, yo. You're just pressure to push forward. T. Nah. 
you know, maybe the best you can hope for is nah, I didn't get it, chat. I don't know what it is. But then again, like that, Whoa, yo, so T. much pressure at hand. So Welcome into the sub club. The round, you just have pistols, and that's Fever, the Fever Val, thank you so much. Appreciate the gifted. No, not much uh, cover and move maneuvers or anything. It's just wild. Yeah, I mean, this is truly really just W gaming, but unfortunately. <laughs> That's not going to continue to work. It's BBT and, uh, short for bubble tea. Bro, I don't even know what BB... I don't even know what bubble tea is, let, let alone for there to be a... <laughs> so far, very that's incredible, well. okay. So that's why we see the brakes getting pumped here. Black bubble tea is boba tea? And saying, okay, uh, that makes sense. Let's maybe integrate some more strategy. <laughs> let's use some utility. Yeah, I've never, never tried it. Honestly, uh, as we go into this next buy round and then try to get the I don't know. I'm, I feel like I missed the whole. I, like the I feel like I missed the whole hype with that stuff. Just to contest a long, a short. Because uh, everyone, everyone seems to have tried it. Oh, I have no idea. Haven, after all, the fact that you are pushing out can give your team so much value if you're on the defending side, but. Okay. For paper Rex, like you mentioned, right? You need more utility. What's the change up from Paper Rex? Absolutely nothing. Right now, it's a lot of change up from Team Secret, though. They decide to go aggro. Uh, I mean, yeah, Chat, if you watch this stream before, Absolutely. every time we see an attack, timeout. How many times am I talking about times where they, they do something aggro on defense to ruin the new plan? This, this round is no different. Ooh, he got hit pretty early. They have to outdoor this one. Work cut out from here for the duelist duo. Jing able to find one. Tries to get himself down into short and somehow just smash. Weapon not available. And now we're in a 1v1. Ahead of the name no. is dubstep, however. And he will once again be the last man standing. And that was just tough. I mean the wind conditions just it was simple. You you really just had to shoot and duel your way out of that one, but <laughs> when it comes down to it, I try it, you hate it. I'm not missing out. Okay. I'll try it one point. I'll try it one point. Too many people in chat say that they like it, so I'll try it. Then again, this is what happens off the timeout. You think that, yeah, Paper Rex might have come in with an uh, anti strat somehow, but. No. In fact, um, Team Secret just changing things up. And we're seeing this time and time again. We had these plays happening even just yesterday. They kind of. The this but is kind of very convincing. Timeouts, you have to kind of almost start I really like how Secret are playing, playing at the moment. Again, I like this extra mix up from this round. More commonplace these days. Really, really strong. Really something to keep in mind for teams. In the as long as they keep the well distance well here, they're, the they're pretty good. Uh -oh. uh, hello, get out of hello. the way. <laughs> Getting body blocked, rocket goes in. Morgum gets tagged up. Divide oh my goodness. The finishing blow Jing as well. Gonna pick up another. Oh. Dubstep looking to hold things down. Prius. Best as possible. Not really able to spot anything. Finished. Oh, gets a sense of it. Says, okay. We just check it. this area. Forsaken gonna be taken out. Brings it now into a 2v3. Jesse Vash just arriving over at sea. Jesse Vash. I was going to say, he's going to take the main one on one against a Vi who's 8 HP but misses the chance to get the kill. And then with that information, they double push. Nicely done from Paper X. Still not fully done because of HP. Damn, okay, nicely handled in the end. Okay. They win, they win the thrifty, of course. I think as well, in terms of how Paper X have played this, they might have done the Doom Bros. They might have not done their new plan until the round after the timeout. Playing off the stingers at that range, initiating fights with the showstopper. This is kind of what we need to see from Paper X. I think, kind of like what Will was talking about uh, before we actually had Osa Muyi. Osa Muyi, thank you so much, mate. I'm sorry if I put you your name every single time. Thank you for the eight months. Appreciate it. Thanks for saying, thanks for saying that, dude. Clone being sent into garage. Dubstep. I mean, he's clearly not trying to mess around with these. Okay, we are just, all, so just we are just bashing the over towards C. Borkum, Borkum didn't get in. Oh my goodness, it's fast retake. Over towards the defending oh, side. Oh. Wow. Also, snaps on the dubstep. Dodges wow, he's so the good. Fury. He's so good. He did enough damage to get the 70 with the ult here. And, uh, as I say, that was kind of nice. incredible. <laughs> Two rounds in a row over towards C. You see now Secret talking about this loads. Yeah, timeout as well. That's just a let's have a stack C now. They changed up what they're doing. 
Smart adjustments, I have to say. I mean, it's Bear in mind now, this gives um, this gives Secret a chance to talk as well if they want to change it up, because most likely we're going to see a heavy shutdown over towards C, so they can change up how they want to play this one as well. Um, and when everyone rotated over, Paper X were already prepared the recon here on the hit was like the most important thing. They just hit Borkin before he went into the smoke. Time out from Team Secret though. They want to keep that momentum in their hands and. Paper X, after just winning two rounds, just quash that away. That's good timing to go ahead and call it. See, Paper X is going to be able to you know, play for a round win off the back of this. Take a look once you get back in and see what the economy looks like, but you have to suspect that it's not going to be very strong for the side of Secret at the moment. Yeah, not perfect, but then again, you know, we can't really count them out. Paper X, I think. The question here for Team Secret is, which is the next site they're going to hit? How are they going to do it? Uh, I mean, now they have a little bit more freedom because they have that firepower. It's proven People that they miss have them at some one strats point. that they're hiding. Don't worry, my time will How come to miss them at one point. Uh, I'm busy these, for a few parts. You, you can get the majority down. down. I don't know. Maybe you want to go off with that mid-round push again. Maybe you want to hide in some corners uh -oh. where shorties might work. Look at see right at the moment. You can see that we got Dubstep and Borkum set up to try to go. They're the very aggro for board. this yeah, one, but okay. So in terms of this, just uh, oh, leads the way and instantly Borkum gonna be nice instant Yoru flash. Dubstep as well. Uh, the C yeah, hits continue, but they knew they were on eco here. What is the Doom Bro strat? He used to, um, in his pauses, in. So in his timeouts that he would do, he would used to, and I'm saying used to because I think I called it out in the stream and he watches the stream so he changed it up. Um, for like a year, year and a half, maybe even longer, he used to not implement the new game plan until the next round itself. So he, he would call a timeout and then he would go into the round thinking they were going to change it up, they would keep everything exactly the same, and then the next round they would change it up. Um, and it honestly, it's a nice way of, it's a nice way of doing it. We saw him with the Hunter Sphere from the previous round, starting things for his team, uh, closing off certain uh, spots and angles. This time around, I mean, a lot more confidence, just finding a lot of these fracks, basically almost playing deathmatch. And a lot of people don't know this about him. The first year, first couple years of Paper X, he was the one playing Jet alongside Forsaken. Now more on the initiator, and he's doing such a great job. Yeah, he, see how Team Secret was I, asked, I asked him on stream if, if that's what he does as well. Yeah, he, like, confirmed it. Um, and then ever since, he kind of confirmed it. He's changed it up a little bit, so respect to him. We've seen that from time and time again from DRX that it's definitely possible, and Divide just another decent ex example of it. Dimensional Drip, scouting through, spots Borkum. Not going to be seeing too much else. And Dude, they are just. Right here, <laughs> oh my deck. goodness. The They're just bashing C, and it is working that so well. Jing, well. Jing has been garage. mad. Okay, they need to. On this side of the map, How does. They have to put the breach there, I think. And then their A becomes slightly weak, but. You gotta. It hasn't been convincing. Either that, or maybe they can fight a little bit heavier, Garage. They cover the defending side, they get the kills, and suddenly, just like that, we are all tied up by the five. I mean, that has to be a smart prediction, I think, from Paper Rex, anticipating the po uh, possible showstopper. You notice their post-plant positions, they weren't all out in the open. They might have been covering some uh, potential angles. But yeah, I've been enjoying the, the Ben Kylax he's throwing in. I think most most important person at the moment is Jing by far. At, the same time. Doesn't matter if you lose some of the at least for Paper X. I think it's, uh, a lot the amount of times he's been getting all the kills in C, or the most important kill in C, is just pretty much every round. You, know, you, you kind of need to respect Paper X a little bit. Flash in the mid, and the challenge. No and way they spammed him. Over push up from Jeremy. He'll be able to find one, but again, going to be traded. Tank again, still down. low buy in this one. Very That's aggro from them. Down. They're doing all right. They've done a good amount of damage here. Four four is it's now to a two v three. I mean, oh, it's now winnable. As ben Kai sat here on the cam. Oh, it's Wasn't now super Borka, winnable. Fire you one HP. Just given the weapon advantage. Spike is down. Oh, okay. Nice way of handling this. Oh. 
because Envy doesn't push further out, he also has not been able to recover. He can life. somehow kill Mime Freak. There's no way for him to get a not gun upgrade. Do they think he might be in spawn player, still? Like has to kind of suss them out, maybe tap the spike a little bit. He's got a little bit of utility to work with, too. Ben is on a journey of his own. All lines oh. good, but so is the paranoia. Gets himself into Cubby. Oh, that's unlucky. Up. This is a nice try from them. I like this idea from Team Secret. Dude, what a recovery from Paper X. I mean, every single round they planted on C. I'm not saying that this, this round itself in particular, they were definitely planning to go C. This was a reaction. But every single one so far over towards C. Yes, it, it gets a little bit brawly at times with the way that they're pushing into each other, with the way that Ben is trying to control it, just lurking off in his own Good terminal. Yeah, the season. reaction was nice. It's Team Secret trying to throw a wrench in Paper X's plants, and at times, this is the result. This is the damage that they get. If, if Paper X didn't quite have the economy this round, that would have been a good play, but here we go back into it. Last round, first half. <laughs> Look at the change up. We've got Vitsova over towards C. It's an interesting fix to put Sova over towards C and try and get info here early. The, the whole plan was they, they're they going to play around the smoke that they're doing on their default and get a get a recon behind it and scan behind it. So they at least got early info for this. Do we really see an exec from short these days? Paper Rex. Ever since the timeout, have called a bit of a masterclass. It's been relatively simple, but what's the plan for this? They did have raise nades. Okay, raise nade goes short. He has double satchel to get out, and then he has his ult. Oh, he didn't get out in time with the raise. And that's all done, and they're just sticking this, and you need to swing. Oh, we're now going to come out, Ben Kai gets the collat. Suddenly, Jing. Oh, nicely handled from Secret. I think, um, as much as I was complimenting Paper X, I think maybe on this one they didn't have a good enough plan for the kill trade ults. No. Honestly, judging by the this other round where the they just wanted to face well. this area as so well when much, the Killjoy uh, came down, it felt like the Killjoy so hit was kind of insanely strong this against them. them. The I still think they did thing. insane to get six, though, with how nine, this went. But then again, it's that smart play from Team Secret. No <laughs> Do you think Riot will change C if they take Haven out of the map pool? Oh man, I don't knowing want to think about it. They're looking for that spike plan. We I don't want to think about it. We know we can retake this. Let's go I just don't want to think about them the changing this map. Because I just think it's the best wow. one. But yeah, they Let's probably would. How Paper Rex are now going to be faring with this double duelist shifting over to the defending side. We did see quite a bit of success on the defense just yesterday between Zeta and RRQ. That's where both teams were able to you know, collect the majority of their rounds. I'm curious to see if that's going to continue to be the case on a map where typically we have seen the attacker be a little bit more favored. Yes. I mean, that's that's kind of the thing about Haven, and that's kind of the thing that I like to see from Paper Rex. On the Haven side, lover? Yeah, I think it's the best map. This Euro pick is really interesting, but the way that he's been using it is not such Can't a stand it in ranked. It's okay. It's okay in ranked. It's, I, I agree. Like it's not great in ranked, but in terms of like a... In terms of like a map where in professional games where you're like taking map control, creating question marks, having to re-clear have a diva fight the site or leave the site or, or plan all your retakes it's the i think it's the best i think it's the closest we're gonna get what's my fault on the bind changes um i think they're relatively i think they don't change anything macro other than how important long b is about Kai, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, We're not going to see anything different. Well You're still going to see Viper. Like still going to see Viper Brim yeah, all the time. Very, very much so. Still going to see the same default person, on attack. In -game, you can see that still going to see Sky. So in control, not letting his emotions just You're not going to see too much change. It, it didn't change much. Or anything like that. In fact, it's more of Jing and Forsaken that we want to watch out for. But in all of these games. What I'm really uh, impressed by is Devi stepping up 
as an initiator. Yeah, this was Dubstep this was impressive. Five one down to manage to get it, it back to six half. six. Paper X did great. Now on, the attack, now on their defense, <laughs> everyone, everyone does a 4-1 pistol these days. I would actually say it's about 50% in terms of 4-1 pistols. This was a very nice hit. As we could see, they wanted to do the 4-1 Yoru early TP over towards heaven. Get smoked off, so he's not going to be able to get anything for this. Turret and two people holding behind. Now it's about to be three people holding behind. They know it's a 4-1. On this lurk. Oh, they come and they put four people. That's so Ooh, funny. Forsaken kind of owns them a little bit here. They went to they went to stack four people to deal with behind because they were so confident as the four one that everyone's doing. Other push coming in. See the rotations all the way through B for mind free. This is double pistol. Yeah, I mean they heard the footsteps. They were pushing back around Do you think Harbor or Gecko might see much playtime? Um, honestly, let me, let me try and think about Harbor. You could replace... Go ahead. Two for two on pistol rounds here on Haven. Death, this is... I was worried about this. Harbor would be viable. Harbor would be pretty viable on bind. The, the problem is that with the harbor, you're probably... I'm trying to think on defense. I just don't think you can hold short enough, but then you can have the Viper smoke. Maybe harbor. Maybe you could see a harbor. problem is that I'm worried that with the harbor, you'd get rid of the Viper. But you could... Uh, it'd be interesting to see a... Pretty much just the... Uh, um, for them, it's not going to pretty much just all. a loud comp would be kind of interesting. Just with the Viper and the down, right? Viper Harbor. And the, it, the Viper is so pretty much essential on that map, especially for defaults, right? Pretty much Fnatic kind of just set how the default is going to be played on that map. Backflank did not watch nearly as heavily, but it seems like it shouldn't matter too much. They had the alarm button as well as the turret to play contact off of. Find that kill. And right now, this is okay for secret. Your paper right, so finding another elimination here, then you're feeling very good about this eco. Oh, economical damage. And again, look at how Team Secret are positioning themselves right now. Being very safe, setting up camp on site, not letting any of the paper X players in. Playing off of the, the utility just like that. Mind freak ready, gonna go for the right click here. Sets it up. Oh, <laughs> hey, they did good okay, damage, that's yeah. That's about as good as you can hope for if you're mind freak. Yeah, they did really good damage. So okay, so we had one, we had two people that bought pistols, so are they going to be buying rifles into this and have at least two rifles? We'll see. You might have a bulldog that can work with, but Paper Rex will come in with that full buy, and that is where things start to get dicey. Of course, this is now the second half. This is now where Gecko we start to see Paper X switch up the strats. I believe that's what they'll do, unless they still leave the vice. Nah, I can't, I can't see it. All of the places that you fight for it's in theory it might be okay towards long and doing it straight up and maybe the maybe the flash is from sight i'm not sure okay let's look at that bonus looking pretty good so they buy these two rifles with the two pistols that they pour into the anti eco they have the attack bucky oh, i haven't seen this strap for a while Oh, they handle this nicely though. I like this as the bonus. I did like this as the bonus. Again, the omen TPing. So what what a lot of people used to do, like within like the first half a year or so in this was there were multiple things. You could either TP on top of the site and then you would have like a recon and try and shoot people through it. Or you would like double TP where you TP here, TP to the back, and you would have like two smokes. Korea, yeah, Korea, Korea actually invented a lot of the, uh, at least in EMEA. I didn't fully see as much. Jesus, he made this winnable. He didn't fully, uh, I mean, I didn't see other regions, so I don't know how much other people did, but he was one of the most aggressive um, and, like, playmakers at the beginning. Oh my god, let's watch that replay. He was kind of sick at the beginning of the game when no one was used to the Omen TP. <laughs> and then he was just getting away with everything. 
find some How did he get both here? Actually able to dismiss this crossfire setup. Impressive plays. Of course, Paper X with the numbers will be able to prevail. Really good damage from Team Secret, which now means that we go into this round and there's only one pass in the combined next. So this is huge in terms of the impact of the rest of this game. So they go for B again. There's a kill trip on the bottom of the floor. Nice omen flash that hit three. Nice omen flash on the way back. TP's behind him. Oh my goodness. Did they bring him back the old school strat? So it's back to back they've done this beefing. Omen into the middle, flashes back his sight, and then just TP's behind him. This is very nice from Team Secret. They handled this well. I like their hit. Like, I really like their hit. They flooded with so many people. I wonder if they've seen that Paper X don't react too much around, around the side of the map, and they just like to fight in B itself. They see that little bit of a gap in their defense, a little bit of a weakness. The previous round, sure, maybe it wasn't working out too well, but this time uh, they, they, they tighten things up. They have that strong game step sound on up. The top of the box. Everyone else to follow suit. I'll give you a little and, 17, uh, and we'll see if it's uh, any better. Really couldn't do much with the back of the site there. Feels like you can go up quite a bit, Four right, John? Here for the side of Paper X, so this should just be it's going to get sat up on a corner, get ready to pray. Uh, Benkai spotted, I'll leave blinded, him. absolutely destroyed. Dude, this the kill comes in. Mind freak now, trying to swing forward, but again, a blind this guy's everywhere. Perfect to allow for Jeremy to find this second elimination. Both of the raises have been like kind of everything on these. Paper X just on the eco on this one. They have to. You're gonna see them time out after this. They have to uh, have to start winning some rounds, especially with this. Next one, their money's going to be a little bit wrecked. They're going to have to have like one full buy. Good to know that Devi is saving enough for an op if they want to do an op. We were seeing all the Meet the Teams videos, right? Yeah, some of these younger players, they get a little bit eager. You can't bang that wall. Yeah. That one you cannot shoot through. I'm sorry. But you can just push up and kill somebody. Jesse. Oh, Jinx. Oh. Yeah, no hope of getting away from that. In the end, freebies no in terms of this one. Everyone stays alive. We go into the most important buy round for Paper X, and they're up against four ults and one away from five ults. Oh, boy. That was just really no chance. Like, I'll do this is one I'll of the more painful rounds to watch. You bought up that many shorties, and there's really nothing this going is, uh, nothing at oh all boy. that you can do. Hope for this the isn't going to be good. Jesse Peach into you, and, and, and you still kind they of, need to get them. Uh, it ends up being a whiff just because of how slippery some of these Team Secret players are being with their movements. Is it TK so Ramen? Really it's good, yeah. I might, I might experiment with that. This is where momentum is coming into play again, at least for Team Secret. They have that lead. They have been uh, making more initiative uh, concerns and, 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 and finding a lot of these plays where they're able to break through Paper X's defense. Um, when things like these happen, Paper X are the ones that kind of need to catch up and you don't want to be playing catch up in a no, game like this. Certainly not. But unfortunately they are. You can see though, plenty of fans out here in the studio <laughs> looking just to support trying both to sides. Yes. It's quickly, I, I say edit, but I'm just cutting who, the star and the finish of the Fury. Uh, team secret. So, Fury we'll the journey, crew game. Over to South Korea to be able to tune in for so this that I can upload it after this. Of just SEA. Godlike figures. Godlike figures indeed. And we Later need to see. God dead. Well, yeah, that's the next one. <laughs> we need to see godlike plays, though. I think. Seth. Okay, so At pause comes out. Oh we my goodness. To see a win. But then again, we, we have you know, four ults here like as well. Said, this isn't really one of their this favorite is. maps. This is Team Secret's map pick after all, and they are having their way with it. Look at now how they've decided. Okay, well that's five volts. Once they get that free orb, nice plan is this. They thought the four was not enough. They wanted five. With this as well, they decide to get the raise over in the corner. And we had a three-person stack in case they were going to do something over towards C. And it looks like they're expecting someone in this. Maybe not on the off angle, though. They get the kill. Do we have an instant reaction after that? No, not really. Drone comes in because they feel like one person's holding over towards A. As we can see, it's just a setup for the cypher. 
They're not committing. In fact, they're kind of assessing their options, knowing that the rotation probably went through the A site off that initial hit. Recalling not my much box. sounds on C. So now, they think that this part might just be clear. In fact, Garage isn't really being covered by anyone. Oh, this is a I'm an ult for instant information. 30 seconds. Actually, they got nothing so here. With that information, there's no one long. The insta TP and Euro's coming as well. Nice breach shot. They've got a. Nicely done. Good reach. It's here in the smoke. The gun barrel spotted. The time, Jesse however, is so very team. low. It's a fake on the Yoru. They can't get it. Benkai swings back around by Lumber. Ooh. And he cleans up the Nicely final. handled he from kills. Paper X. Use a good amount of ult into this. I, mean, I, I like how proactive they were with um, the Yoru. Getting the kill here. Insta switching it over to short. And then just having information short. And then they, they did the all at 30 seconds on long. So they could stack C. Kill him. What's up, dude? West Thank you so much. Freak. Welcome in. Getting Thanks for using your prime money. Appreciate you. Setting up that, that sight smoke that Chat, new member of the slug club, you know what to do. I see some slugs already. So a thanks a little for that. A little of a, uh, a little Welcome in, mate. To actually slip in and get that position on logs. Three person stack. Now out, and it's going to be a trade. Jinx is down right? in exchange for Jeremy, but Mind Freak trades it back up. Envy eliminated the Hunter's Fury from the Mind. It stops them from getting in. Paper Rex is the round they were expecting the round. This is the round they were expecting the round before, if that makes sense. They had this they had this set up pretty much the round before and again there's no fast C. They decide to do it again, they know it's coming, and they heavy shut down C. So now the calling becomes a little bit hard. They're gonna feel like this is where mind games come kinda come into it. So there's a calling technique where you call hit C again because it failed so badly. Because you think that the enemy team is gonna think that they held it so well that you're not gonna go C. Um, and then also on the defense, they now might just... We'll see how they're going to react to it. You even know that... You look into callers sometimes, you know that callers like to do this. Um, or a lot of the times you can just go back to just holding it normal. So we can see they go and hold it normal. But they go for some aggro over towards middle still. Damn, this is fast. We had double satchel over towards short with the recon at the back. We had breach done as well towards short. This was a cool round. Came down to a 5 HP duel though. Jeremy with the low HP picks up, uh, picks up, oh my goodness. What? Spots them both, the Jing! Strikes them down! The show's Oh my goodness, this is nice from them. The double duel this is looking... I actually think that the Yoru is looking not too bad on the defense as well. So... But yeah, Jing has math. been, Jing has been everything on this map. And now that radiation creeping and crawling up your He's skin. the reason this is, this Mind is close in my opinion. Other side of that dark cover. He wants that spike, but at the very end Nice round from him, nice reaction. It's feeling like play. Secret might want a timeout here. They're running out of ideas. Of course, might need to start mid-rounding a bit more. It's very, we have found a whole new meaning to the term it's Jing very home. fast. And I don't want to say one dimensional, but at the moment it is. Over the top of the smoke spots of both is no escape. At that point, I mean, you have to you have to kill him. It's the only way to survive, and you have to kill him before that rocket leaves the. Okay. Molly over towards short. Again, we saw a team do this in their default. They got disrespected. Early A control with this one. Op is here. Might be good for one. At the same time, they decide to go three past the middle. Recon goes in. It feels like it's a sight hit. They fall all the way back. They have a retake camera for information. They have a info trip over towards B. So with that, they heavy stack the rotate. They have Yoru ult for retake. They have Yoru ult for retake. They have camera for retake. Oh. Dimensional Drift goes out. The drop down, however, from Jing finds Borkum. Envy going to be spotted. Stuck in the cyber cage, huh. but he manages to swing. Finds Forsaken, wow. finds the by dropping out of heaven. Tucked away on the corners. Benkai, now he's aware of it, but he just cannot get the kill. 
That was, that was kind of insane from Benkai. I want to see a replay of this, but that was kind of nuts from Benkai. The fact that he managed to get two from him. He held on in this area for so long, kind of because he had to because of the kill drone. Yeah, Secret needed a timeout. This was a good retake. I liked the camera. The recon got shot, but then the camera tagged the guy default. The whole time, the person who was meant to be helping them once again, momentum uh, now. On helped the stop them the getting out of spawn. Was looking at literally the recon the and then obviously the, uh, for the camera as well. Polmax, thank you so much. So Six months so in the slug club, appreciate you. And that coordinated uh, retake together with the entire team and Ben Kai at the very end. I was waking course, up today, I seemed a bit better than yesterday. Um, yeah, honestly, yes. I don't know, I, I, again, it just depends how sometimes I wake up and I can wake up easy, sometimes not so much. Today was easy, yesterday was not easy, actually, I did struggle, but again, I'm not a morning person, so... Paul Max, thanks for that, mate. Paper X side of the audience might be walking away from this map quite happy if this continues. So Warbirds, we'll see what he's able to to do it after. I mean, he's just chatting up the squad, but talking about the economy, yep. and as mentioned, doesn't look great. Not fantastic. We're seeing he's a stinger, a specter. Your rifle? You're going for two of them. Dubstep as well. You kind of want to think about it, right? Like, if you don't do much in this round, you might as well. You basically lose the next one anyway. I mean, the score I mean, is pretty close. It's play for win or play for the the over. Play for the Yes, exactly. So you kind of just. I think I guess they're going for overtime. So, so I have to switch their mic. We're sticking with the operator. Still the oh, oh boy! And yeah, punched it. Just seize the head. There's your explosive entry. Oh Dead boy! Benkai they uh finds another one. Low low buy on this one. So they weren't they Something. weren't meant to win it, but He's got another drill with them. it feels like they know exactly they've run out of ideas. Good luck, Envy. Can you find any kills? Flash goes out, but it catches them from behind. So then Paper Rex line. have had. I will clean up another three kills as Paper Rex takes this. I don't want to call it late game, but in terms of like both of the halves, the late game has been good. You're just hunting down that like one once, once they once they stabilize the economy the and they the understand what's going on and what they need to do, it's been really good on both these halves. You're able to overwhelm someone with numbers because you see that first player swing out wide first. And when it is now, of course, match points, Team Secret are feeling that extra pressure just to find these two rounds for overtime. Oh. Well, right now, getting in war. Is this a double satchel? It's absolutely paramount. Aided the corner for Saken. No, he continues to scope in. Jing, in the meantime, is actually going to find a kill with his own paint shells. Takes him down. Jeremy knocked to 8 That's a huge. Pick, but they're gonna flood the site, and honestly, it's been so one-dimensional. I think they're right. Team Secret have done okay to get this, and Benkai managed to get the most important one. So it was two chances on this. We go down into a two-on-two. -two. Benkai might might have just done it. The TP, the TP wasn't the best. They have been have been trying to hit from. I mean, they've honestly been taking short a lot, so. But one more yeah, I'm not sure. Hold this post plant. It wasn't. It wasn't the best. Two. You don't know where anyone is. They can suspect Ben Kai's position, but as far as mind freak, nice Omen um, flash. Well done from the. Well done from Jesse Vash on site. Well done, Jesse. This was good. Dubstep did great as well, obviously, to get these kills. But the fact that Jesse realized that it was his role here once the comet come in, that they've been flashed to just take the jaw and make sure they don't wide swing and get the easy kill. That was really good by him. That was really well played by Team Secret Sess. Oh, there's a, there's a chance the now. Know that you don't really know oh, where the the paper X are going to come from. It could, they could it's have an absolute freebie. Well. So Three forwards about 700 thieves. I mean, it was like a 50-50 game straight up. It, it came down to just out, the smallest fair, margins. Um, Sentinels looked really good, in my opinion. 100 thieves. Had such oh, good momentum on all these stun. maps. Jing tries to exit. He spotted. Hey, the lineup. No, for huge sake, kill. Huge kill. Late smoke. Heaven. Too busy. Too busy doing the omen flash and then the TP. So they TP couldn't do the. the uh... The push comes in. Jing finds the kill. He tries to study the end, but he cannot. Dubstep swings around the opposite side. They have 
good Yuto if he wants to get under. If the Breach can somehow get under Heaven, I think they... That was... No, Forsaken. Why have you done this, boss man? Without the Omen Flash, like, they could have timed it well. Nice done. Oh, my. Well, it all doesn't matter. They managed to close it out. This was a close game. Paper X, once they got stabilized with economy, managed to take control. I thought the calling was very important on this one. They shut down everything very well. And, yeah. Secret became a little bit predictive. Or, or not predictive, just one-dimensional. They didn't move around the map much it was 